we done once uh, last year right of spring was was amazing but not fair because we did oh we learned the whole choreography we learned the whole right of spring but we just had one show and as a dancer you don't want to have just one show especially when it's something that you like and i really like that piece what is amazing is because what I like so much is because it's something that not I've related to it, but the the warrior, warrior that I'm playing, um, I have a lot of in common because I don't know. As a kid, I did a lot of things. I played a lot of sports. I did art, martial arts. I did um, capoeira. That's a dance fighting in Brazil a little bit. I did gymnastics. So like, this is the kind of ballet where I can put it everything that I know into it. So it's kind of amazing. I like contemporary a lot. Um, I like the classical. Uh, I feel, um, I like performing classical, but I, f I feel free when I do contemporary. Uh, for the fact that, um, especially when the choreographer comes and can work with you, it's not like either you're setting up something on you. So that means, for example, in the case of Rite of Spring, I have Jerry, that she knows the ballet. She worked with the choreographer before. She knows exactly what he wants. And so she can work with me. I can, I still have to do the choreographer the same way, but I can make my own. If I step that a person that I saw doing doesn't work for me or doesn't look good as on me, I can do something similar, comfortable. So when I'm performing, I'm more free. And uh, I think that's what I like at working uh, more in the contemporary side. I feel like I have more of that freedom. Music for Rite of Spring. Um, it's a powerful music. I love it. There is nothing that I will change. I mean, it's Stravinsky. You don't, I mean, he wrote that music. You just got to listen and then do it. Rite of Spring specific is different from the most everything that we got, we done here it started from the costumes that is not much to wear. It started from the music that is different music that we do. It started from the dancers. It's not just three or four people on the stage. You have their whole company plus RB2 on the stage. So you have more people. You have scenery. You have things to work with. So there are so many things that I feel like any kind of public audience will come and appreciate it and really enjoy. They, I don't think they will feel like they're just watching the pretty ballet and, and tutu if that's not what it's about. That's that's uh, something that you got to come check it out. I can be here talking all night, all day, but it's, it's, it's not the same. And the one thing I'll tell you that all the dancers is so excited to do this ballet. And when you have dancers that are excited to do something, you got to come because that's going to be something that you're never going to forget. So I'll tell you to come in November 1st to the 3rd and just go to Cabernet Center and join the performance with the Richmond Ballet. Come. Um.